Welcome to another episode of Two Minute Tech from Motorola, the show where we tell you what's going on inside your phone in less than two minutes. And today we're talking about 5G. What the heck is it? Why do I need it? Time to find out. Start the clock. Okay, let's start with the basics. What do we mean when we say 5G? We're talking about the wireless network. Every time you do something on your phone that connects to the internet, your phone is sending signals pew, 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 using invisible radio waves. When you see cell towers everywhere, that's what those things are doing, sending and receiving insane amounts of data signals to everybody's connected devices. 5G is talking about the fifth generation of wireless technology. Pretty much every 10 years, the smartest radio people from around the world get together and decide on a new set of standards. We started way back in the 80s with the very first cell phones that operated on 1G, and now here we are in 2020, rolling out 5G networks. Okay, so wireless networks getting better and faster every 10 years or so. What about 5G? What does that bring us? For this, let's go to the whiteboard. Here's a fun metaphor. Let's pretend 4G was a highway with two lanes in each direction. Here are some cars. They represent the data going back and forth to the internet and to other devices. 5G takes this highway and turns it into a double-decker freeway with lots of lanes going in both directions. So not only can you fit more cars, the cars can go even faster. Race cars! So why should you pay for 5G? Well, the biggest thing it gets you is speed. You can download bigger files like TV shows or movies at HD quality or even 4K in just minutes or sometimes even seconds. Lighter stuff like songs or a web page, you get that pretty much instantly. But speed isn't the only thing. You can also connect a lot more devices at the same time, thanks to that highway with a lot more lanes in it. You also get something called low latency, the time it takes for devices to talk to each other, which is really important for things like self-driving cars. The sensors around the car have to be able to talk to the computer that's steering the car to tell it to avoid other cars, or red lights, or people, or deer. So 5G is super important for all those cool futuristic things that we've been waiting for. All right, that's it. Stop the clock. Now you know the basics of 5G networks. Whether you like it or not, you're a nerd, so just embrace the nerddom. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another episode of Two Minute Tech from Motorola. I'm Chris Francica. See you next time.